What's going on, my Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my subscribers that uh, celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your family and having a wonderful <coughs> time today. I, I didn't want to get behind, so I'm going to go ahead and do us, uh, I guess, a little energy check in, see what's going on. To my returning OG subscribers, what's going on? What's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. And to my members only community, it goes without saying, y'all fucking with me, I fucks with y'all the long way. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your coffee, your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your eggnog. Whatever it takes, Scorpio, for you to tap into these energies with me. Like we always do around about this time. <clears throat> and let's tap the fuck in. Let me see where I want to start with this energy. It's Christmas, y'all. Let's see. Let's start off with a, a oracle. I hope everybody got under the tree what they wanted. Hope the kids are happy. They ain't gonna play with that shit after noon. That should be pissing me off, gang. If you don't went and bought all them damn toys and all that paper and shit and tape and shit be everywhere in the trim, don't even play with the toys after damn day. All them toys you buy and they play with one. <laughs> That's just my experience. All right, guys. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Hey, the countdown is real now to 2023, ain't it? What do we have for my amazing Scorpios this morning? Yeah, <laughs> period. It's a new dawn, man. Come on. That's some energy check in for your ass right there. It's a new dawn for Scorpio, baby. Period. I've been screaming, hooping, and hollering in every video. I'm believing Scorpio forward. <laughs> For those who lack in faith, who ain't got the faith of a, a mustard seed, I got y'all. All right, let's see here. I just saw new birth. Okay, period. What else here? I'm tiptoeing into 2023. Y'all hear me? Ain't nobody going to even know what's going on over here. That's just that on there. Oh, God, yes. New beginnings. I'm tiptoeing, Source. Source, are you saying the right shit? Because both of your cars got new on them. <laughs> Scor hey, Scorpio, y'all can y'all can catch me in this energy. Y'all don't have to. The number three and 21 could be significant. All my cars renew these y'all cars. Two. Y'all with me on this? New, new dawn. New beginning. Countdown to 2023. Let's get one more. If this card have new in it, I'm going to pass out this chill. Scorpio. <laughs> Rising up. Rising from the ashes. Look at all that dark shit back there. You right, baby. Scorpio 2023, do you hear me? It's our time. It's our year. It's everything. And then, look, we even getting promises for miracles in the afterlife. Who am I talking to? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Y'all, it's about <coughs> 30 degrees in Florida. So if you from Florida, when that kind of weather come, honey, your body go through some types, a lot of um, shocks here, okay? So y'all bear with me. I'm trying not to cough too much. All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. A new dawn, new beginnings. Rising up in afterlife. Wow. I feel like your ancestors are being extra protective right now, Scorpio. For the next, I'm hearing 10 to 15 days going like bridging over into 2023. I feel like you're going to have a lot of muscle aches. I'm hearing fatigue. A lot of fatigue. Um, And I'm hearing... You know, it's it's almost like ascension pangs, 
but it's throwing the enemy off. Whatever this is your spirit guys are doing with that, it's throwing the enemy off. So that you can tiptoe. See, I was speaking prophecy then and, and didn't know it, but when I got the new, the new, and the rise up, so I said tiptoe. That's confirmation. Tiptoe into 2023. You ain't got to be loud about it. You ain't got to tell everybody how good the Lord is. Tell the Lord how good he is. That's the only person that can count with any fucking way. If you telling anybody else, you just bragging, right? Spirit guys, angels, clarify new dawn for Scorpio. Clarify new dawn for Scorpio. <clears throat> the five of cups is coming out in the reverse. It's a new dawn. No more sorrow. No more loss. Okay? No more shit um, not looking like it seemed. And, you know, all these masks and people who, you know, just out to get you. People who can't be happy for you. They never were happy for you. They never will be happy for you. That five of cups in reverse to me is waving bye to they motherfucking ass. They still gonna be left in 2022 when you tiptoeing in 2023. Who am I talking to? Even in the afterlife, you're going to be blessed, Scorpio. They say take back your power. That's what we're doing. Why? Because you're the universal you the universal mother. You're the reason why it's still going on. You're the reason why they're still alive. Because you're still praying for their ass. Awakening. And God just keep making a way for you. Why? Why do God keep making a way? The divine gateway. Why is it always open? Why is that portal always somewhere waiting on Scorpio to show up? We ain't waiting on it, Scorpio. <laughs> what other car went? Manifestation. We're not waiting on it. These, these gateways stay open for us. They have to. There it is. They have to stay open. We death and rebirth. <laughs> hey, don't nobody know your time but God. So you got angels and all kind of shit waiting at that afterlife. They don't know when this time going to be it for Scorpio. Hey, hey, glory. Who am I talking to? You even blessed in the afterlife. That's something to get excited about. People worried about this motherfucking life. Y'all worry about this life so, so much that y'all killing yourself. You ain't even living it. It's all a big stage. <laughs> Who am I talking to? I feel like I'm preaching. I just want to do an energy check in. Hold on. Why is the five of cups here in reverse? The eight of air in reverse? When I say y'all, we leaving all that shit behind. Stinking thinking. Self-imposed prisons. Fears. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's a new dawn. It's a new day for us, Scorpio. It's yours. Take it. You you leaving all we leaving all this we leaving this behind all this negativity. It's no more. We leaving people behind who who even still possess those kind of qualities. Yeah, I'm gonna call them qualities because if that's how you are, that's your quality. That's who you are. And that's what we got to start doing. <laughs> Realize that that's the person's quality. That's their essence. That's who they are. You can't change anybody but yourself. Y'all don't make me preach. All right. Yes. 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 The three of wands. Yes. A new dawn. A new day for Scorpio. Every card I'm flipping over. Abundance. That's what the three of wands stands for. It talks about abundance. It talks about things in your life shaping up and looking good. Oh, my God. Making long-term plans. <laughs> Looking into the future. Ex expectancy. That's what the three of um, wands is. Somebody was crazy enough to believe the miracles that God has for them in 2023. And if anybody going to be crazy enough in Scorpio, you could believe that. What else? You're the queen of cups. This is you, Scorpio. It's a new dawn. You a new, you a new queen. Yeah, I'm tenderhearted. Yeah, I'm empathetic and I'm patient and I'm loving. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The relationships I'm in now, <clears throat> they don't call for me to be the queen of water all the time. 
They don't call for me. They don't call for me at all. The, the group of people I'm with now, my tribe now, this shit start pouring out of me when it's needed. When I hear a friend on the other side of the phone telling me they thinking about divorcing their husband or their wife. That's when the anointing start flowing. See, your anointing, your gifts now finna start, start flowing. You in control of it now. So it can't call on you. It's something that's going to be released from you that you don't have anything to do with. Who am I talking to? I'm talking about Holy Ghost power. I'm talking about somebody who, who finna tiptoe into 2023. When you, when you came out of 2022, you didn't even know what your gift was. Who am I talking to? The moment you tiptoe in 23, is going to get so powerful. You'll see. Y'all going to see just what I'm talking about. Let's clarify new beginnings. Moving forward. You know what? I can't even say it. Ain't nobody happy for Scorpio. It's somebody mad. Your family. You see it in them cars out there? It ain't none. <laughs> there isn't any. <laughs> oh, glory. Lord, we helped somebody out in 2022. I know I did. I know I did. I helped myself out too. What what new beginnings for Scorpio? I know it happened. I know it happened. The Eight of Cups on new beginnings. I know it happened. <laughs> I know it happened. Who am I talking to? You walked away from this shit. You tiptoeing. Some, some, it's somebody, Scorpio, you dealing with, they don't even know you gone yet. <laughs> hey, glory. You tiptoe out of that too. Unscathed, unheard. Why? Because destiny is at hand. A desire to move on. Yeah, that's what the Eight of Cups is. <laughs> A desire to move on. A search for something more meaningful. That's where you at. You looking for that new beginning now. The Nine of Swords. <laughs> no more sleepless nights. No more expecting the worst. No, no, no more self-fulfilling prophecies, okay? Nah, that's over with. New beginnings. These are things you leaving behind to get toward, to go towards your new beginning. You got the Page of Wands on new beginnings. <laughs> the page is what? They're about messages. News about some new endeavor, something that, you know, piques your interest here. Something that calls for your integrity and your originality. Some shit can't nobody else do. That's what that's talking about. And then you got the three of uh, three of earth here. Okay. Yeah, new beginnings. This, the three of pentacles to me talks about your creativity. It talks about you being set aside. You 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 not being like everybody else. You know, you got your your work is quality. You are quality. But you can be a team player too. Balance. <laughs> Let's clarify rising up here, Scorpio. Let's clarify rising up. Rising from the ashes. People say they 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 rose from the ashes. What's your ashes? Leave it down in the comments. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see who Ash is matching up. Cause I, cause I believe some folks. It wasn't ashes in the beginning. It might have been a little sand, a little beach sand, a little dirt here and there. You know, people be claiming this ashes shit, but I'm talking about what's your ashes? <laughs> Period. Don't nobody know ashes like Scorpio no ashes. Rising up, you got the Knight of Cups. Absolutely. <laughs> Falling in love, getting down on one knee, saying yes to the dress. This could talk about, you know, the need to balance your emotions. Okay, put everything in perspective. Yeah, and this could just be something simple as you, you know, since you rising up and free, you getting invited to different kind of um, venues here. People wanting to see you, people... Um, you know, want to pick apart your brain. I'm here in Scorpio. The page of Earth is here. Absolutely. A lot of messages. 
a lot of messages about opportunities and um, success here, okay? I feel like, too, you're going to get a lot of um, emails about people wanting to work with you. Um, this could be you going back to school, you know, in a new area of study here. But whatever it is, it's successful. Okay, the Ten of Swords is here. Absolutely. I just feel like, you know, Scorpio, you got to a point where enough was enough of being downhill, you know, on earth with a life the good God gave you and you just continuously letting, allowing people who are betraying you take pieces of it. This is, this is the end of a, a difficult situation here. This is you leaving something and ascending here. This is this is you embracing that change. People, the Ten of Swords can mean a lot of things, but for you, Scorpio, right now, I feel like this is you embracing your change and accepting things, you know, for what they are until they get better. Yeah. For some of you guys, you could have left, left an addiction in 2022. I just heard that too. And you tiptoeing into 2023 because you don't want those same people around you that got you bound on drugs in the first fucking place. Who am I talking to? Scorpio, you leaving behind every stinking, thinking thing and person for 2023. Tiptoe into 2023, Scorpio. You got the eight of wands. This going to happen in a, fa a fast pace. The eight of wands talks about travel here. All your delays over. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of things happening at once, Scorpio. I'm here to strap up your boots. Okay. What's the advice here? Merry Christmas, y'all. I love you. What's the advice for Scorpio? Advice for Scorpio here. What's the advice? I want to clarify afterlife. Clarify afterlife. Two of Pentacles. Clarify afterlife. Yeah, the Knight of Earth and the Two of Pentacles here. The bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so um, with your overall energy, I feel like you know you you let you you have released all of those um what do you call them all those like deep rooted beliefs around money your fears surrounding money um i feel like too with the 5 of pentacles being in reverse um i just feel like your money is is looking very good i feel like you're able to have a lot of opportunities here a lot of doors opening up for you but a lot of green here scorpio with the two of pentacles, you know, I it's it's like I said, this is gonna happen quick. It's gonna it's gonna be a lot of things going on at once, but I feel like you need to, whatever it is, you can handle it. And you need to do it in silence here, okay? Um, if you're doing a lot, consider a, a more playful approach or try to, you know, refigure what you're doing. If it's stressing you out this way, source is saying find another way to do it. You're very resourceful here. And with the night of earth, I just feel like you're meeting people that are loyal and honorable and, and kind and dedicated, um, Scorpio. I feel like though the night of earth too talks about it being time to buckle down and getting things done to honor your commitments. You know, the, the night of the night of earth too can talk about a guardian angel, which I know you're being heavily protected here. It's something about your life, Scorpio that has to continue in certain cycles in certain ways and until we in tune thoroughly with that okay we won't we won't understand it but we'll know that you but we'll still get through it if that makes sense it's like with scorpio it's like scorpio we trust god we trust we trust the spirit world you know more than we do actually the physical world right and we understand now, but through trial and error, the things that we've went through in our lives, that it's a lot of shit we don't have control over. Okay? And that's what I'm talking about. It's like, but I feel like, Scorpio, something spiritual is about to happen to you, to your gifts. Not only are they going to be heightened, 
You know, it's it's not about that. It's it's about the potency of it. It's about it's for some of y'all. It's about y'all being comfortable with with what you're hearing and what you're feeling and what's being, excuse me, downloaded to you. Some of you guys, y'all hear stuff and y'all know stuff and y'all won't say it, but then five minutes later, somebody else will say it and you'll be like, damn. I do it sometimes reading tarot because sometimes when I'm reading tarot and like I might get a card that don't mean, don't have shit to do with what my spirit guides are telling me. And see, that's my flesh because my flesh want me to make this make sense to the card. But sometimes my spirit guides say, no, it don't matter about the fucking card, it's the message. So it's that type of energy. It's like going into 2023, you're trusting your gifts. Why? Because I feel like with the new beginning it being your first energy and then the afterlife, it's just giving me power. It's like giving me this this phase right here where you are going where you about to just walk into something so huge. So huge. It's something about you specifically. Who am I talking to? I feel like I need to pull some more cards here. I hope that's all right, Scorpio. Give me some more messages here. Tell me about these gifts or tell me what you want me to know. I just saw the star and the seven of wands. Scorpio, you really showing up in your life quietly though. <laughs> It's like when you show up, it nothing has to be said. Your presence is something about your presence. That's what I'm getting. The seven of wands, the star is something about your presence <laughs> in 2023. I mean, for real, for real. It's something about you. I keep hearing that. It's something about Scorpio. I'm hearing too, you're, you're going to be speaking in front of large crowds. That's for some of y'all. I don't know if this is a podcast. I don't know what this is. But I'm, I'm hearing like events moving that fast. Like you at one event speaking and boom, you right here, boom. You somewhere else, boom. You're on another plane, boom. It, it, it's giving me that. Yeah, the four swords. <laughs> Like I said, this is going to be stressful. I know it is because it's going to be a lot of shit going on in your life really quick. But the, the thing about it is, Scorpio, is it leads to the four swords leads to introspection. So what is that telling me? That's telling me now you have some kind of built-in mechanism that you've done or God has done that, that, that lets you know when it's time for you to go, you know, to close in. When it's time for you to rest. When it's time for you to recuperate. When it's time for you to self-protect. So with that four of swords being the first energy out, it's letting me know that you already have everything you need to walk into 2023 and be protected. Yeah, the eight of wands twice. I told you, this is it's a lot of traveling, a lot of events here. A lot of exciting times, though. Rapid changes. Quick, 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 quick. Emails, messages, quick. Like, you might even need help. <laughs> you might even need help just answering your emails. Yeah, the page of swords. The Page of Swords. You need somebody on your team that's very clever here. Very vigilant. You know, somebody who has a lot of mental agility like you, Scorpio. Somebody who's going to push the envelope, I'm hearing. Whatever you need, they got it. Yeah, could be a Capricorn. The Devil in Reverse. Somebody, like I said, somebody, um, you know, somebody left some addictions behind in 2022. Somebody got clean. That's just that on that. Somebody decided, you know, it's better to rise up than sink and fall. What else here? What else here? Hold on, Scorpio. Sorry about that, Scorpio. So, now you have the three of wands twice. So, the eight of wands, the three of wands twice. A lot of, a lot of passionate beginning Scorpio a lot of things that you're going to be so passionate about you ain't going to realize you ain't slept in 24 hours a lot of things going to be happening so fast for you you know as far as you traveling and doing whatever these engagements are that you 
you know, it's it's giving me the energy I can sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> hey, glory. Ain't this what you asked God for? A full a bank account? Being able to go on vacations? Being able to do better things for you and your children? Who am I talking to? What's the advice? And we're going to get out of here. Y'all have a Merry Christmas, Scorpio. The Page of Pentacles. All the pages here. Because your message is around love, money, action. Anything going on in your life is going to be solid. And it's going to be new. <laughs> You know, it's in, you know, the world card. Like I said, you're going, this phase, Scorpio, is a phase. It's un, it's unlike any awakening you ever had. This is about spiritual graduation, infinite possibilities, freedom, fulfillment, right? Completion, a sense of belonging. This is, this is the energy in 2023 for Scorpio, like, you know, not so much everything I went through was worth it, but my God, look at me. Look at what I accomplished. Look at what I done <laughs> by myself. You realize, Scorpio, you didn't need anybody for you to feel complete and whole. You didn't need anybody else to set you free. You had to set yourself free. You had to end this cycle. Okay, you had to have that sense of belonging. Nobody could give you that, but you got it now. You got it, and you protecting it. The overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. I can't make this shit up. New beginnings. Everything. New, 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 new. Everything new, Scorpio. All your cards. New beginnings. Solid beginnings. New, new, new. Doors opening. Breakthroughs here I'm hearing. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you guys, Scorpio, and Merry Christmas.